Now in this video, we're gonna look at how to use the sine rule to solve problems or to find A, to find, find angles, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we'll just jump straight into it. So this question is asking us to find A. So normally I look at a triangle and they're asking us to find something. I always look if it's right angled first, because if it's right angled, then it means we can use sine, cos, or tan, uh, or Pythagoras, which is much easier. But it's not right angled, so we can't. So the next protocol is gonna to be to use the sine rule, okay? So I'll just write that down, sine rule. And that's A over sine A is equal to B over sine B, okay? So in this case here, we have our side A angle 30 and our side 8 and then uh, angle 40. So remember, they have to be facing sides and angles, so I'll go yellow. I'm going to say A over sine 30 is equal to 8 over sine 40. Okay, so remember it's always the side facing the angle or the opposite the angle, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah, so 8 and 40, A and 30. Yeah, so next step then is we're going to multiply both sides by sine 30, so to make A go on its own, so it's going to be A then is equal to 8 multiplied by sine 30 over sine 40. So if you multiply this side by sine 30, it'll cancel top and bottom, and you'll just be left with A, okay? Uh, and then this side, sine 30, you'll be left with sine 30 on the top. So then it's just about sticking that into your calculator, and you'll find your answer for A is about 6.22 uh, centimeters. I probably should have written that that's 8 centimeters as well. Just scribble that in. 8 centimeters, yeah? So that's how to use the sine rule if you're looking for a side, okay? So you're going to need the other two angles, and you'll need one of the sides. That's if you want to find um, a second side on a triangle, okay? Then the next example we're going to look at, yep, so there I have the second example written out there. Um, so again, we have a triangle with this angle is 35, this angle is angle C, we have 3.8 centimeters and 5.2 centimeters, uh, and they're asking us to find the angle C. So again, first of all, you'd look at sine, cos, and tan, or Pythagoras, but uh, it's not right angled, so we can't use any of those. So we're gonna have to look at the sine rule. So again, I'll just write the sine rule out. Um, you don't have to write the sine rule out every time, but it does. I think it always kind of helps just writing the formulas out first, because then if you do mess it up, uh, you're gonna get extra marks for at least, they at least know you tried to use the sine rule. So even if you make a mistake, then you tried to use the sine rule and the marking scheme will say, uh, award marks for a first step, an accurate first step. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna actually use the other side, or the other way, yeah, the other kind, kind of the sine rule. So this sine rule is generally if we're looking for a side, but we're going to use, I'll go to dark blue, I'm gonna use sine of A over A is equal to sine of B over B. And the reason being, because we're looking for an angle, it's easier to use this kind of sine rule, okay? So I know we have A written here, but I'm actually gonna replace that with C. It doesn't really matter about the letters, it's just uh, it's just to show which letter it is on our, like on our diagram. So I'll go orange, and I'm gonna say, so sine of C in this case, and then the side opposite it, it's gonna be 3.8. Sine of C divided by 3.8 is gonna be equal to sine of 35, so again, the other angle, 35 degrees, and then divided by 5.2, okay? Um, so now we're gonna multiply both sides by 3.8, so to get sine on its own, so I'll go to purple, just go to that. So now we're gonna have sine of C. If we multiply both sides by 3.8, we're gonna have 3.8 <coughs> and sine 35, all divided by 5.2, okay? So that's just a little bit of algebra to manipulate that. Uh, you can stick that into your calculator if you want, and you'll get the answer is equal to 0 0.4192. And now, here comes the last step. I'll go light blue. So we have sine of C is equal to 0 0.4192. That means our angle C is going to be the inverse sine, so sine minus 1, 0 0.4192, and again, you're going to use your calculator for that, and you're going to find that C is equal to about 24.8 degrees. 
Uh, yeah, there you go. So they are the two kind of main reasons you're going to use the sine rule is to either find one of the sides or to find one of the angles. So again, I hope that helped. And then we're going to look at the ambiguous case in the next video. So it's another video on the sine rule next.